Hello, in this video we're going to create this image. So let's go ahead and start working by compositing from different sources. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin by selecting our image. And I already have a bunch of work I done before pre-selecting, so it's uh, won't go browse around this. Overall, um, this is image. I want to just check what we have here, and it is camera raw shot in a Canon R5. And we have a 24 millimeters link. Sometimes it's kind of useful to know if you render your background and you want to match how much millimeters, but it's wide angle. And you can see we have a little bit distortions. So we'll need it to work a little bit about that. But overall, it's all information we needed. So let's go ahead, open in camera raw um, our image to process. Inside here, we'll go ahead, um, our highlights, you'll notice I'll put it down. The reason is I want mostly on the silver elements. When we're going around, I want not them overblowing. A little bit to tim them down. We'll bring our shadows a little bit up and also enable remote chromatic abbreviation and use it profile correction. You notice with profile, we a little bit readjusting. But I don't know if I like it because if I use profile, you can see the helmet's not round, it's pull up. So let's un unjust, uh, uncheck so it will be roundish for us. And uh, because we did it with highlights bring down, we want probably skin tones like this color. Um, just saturation, so let's go bring to zero here. We want to do saturation zero on both, but we'll go in luminosity and in luminosity we'll just bring a little bit up red in this color. Uh, sharpness again, maybe around 70. Let's go to just pop up a little bit from original and we'll go ahead and click open. Um, as a masking tools, it's what I want to separate. We have a few options we can do as a masking. Uh, one, we can also just go and set select object, but I found it's not necessarily work very well for me. What I like to do it is create duplicate layer, take pen tool. And because right here we have it very sharp edges, very nice clean edges, we can very easy to do with our tool. So we'll select our pen, select and drag. And if you just follow the curve, you'll notice it's will going very well. So we can go very easy. Just create it around object around right here. We'll just curving a little bit more. Again, with the handle, just follow curve and it will create nice, smooth line for us. Okay, we'll do it this way. And closer to the end, I just put it right around here and we'll going more around that area. So what I'm going to do at this moment, I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to to do all of this with a pen tool, just going around my model to separate. Um, how I say I like to do this be uh, better than sometimes select by color. It will be very hard to select by color to do here because it's all silver. As well, select object made does not work because we have it silver and gray background, and it will be matching. So by the contrast, I don't think we can do a very good job on that. And with a pen, you can see if you ex ex uh, kind of try more experimenting or practicing, you can get quite a bit fast and you know, it is will be done. Uh, one thing keep in mind, it's what I usually say it is in the Photoshop. It's much, much easy for us to create um, blur edge than from blur edge edge going to the hard edge. It's much harder to do this. Um, it's doable, but it is much harder. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause. Okay, so done, gone around. You notice in the, um, okay, let's go right here. Oops. Let's go inside the helmet. We still have a transparency, but we will rework this after with the other tool. And it's very straightforward. Now we right click, create vector mask. So we mask out our model. Well, next it is a little bit touch up we need to do. So we'll create new layer. Let's go call retouching. Link or parenting. And we actually don't need too much, but I just want to reduce a little bit of the um, 
small things on the skin actually it's look about right I don't I don't see any problems just small touch ups maybe uh, right here where we have it, some name of the uh, what I was using so let's go just kind of mess up a little bit around there just hide this words create we don't need too much there you go just kind of messy hiding stuff I think that is look about right um, let's go ahead and next um, creating new layer and it's control shift alt e command option alt e it's take all visible merge them and create new layer for us and this will be um blurring kind of noise reduction so we'll go to filter noise dust and scratches and this is actually smoothing it's probably more correct name i think 27 about right we'll go around here hold down alt or option click on a mask it's create a black mask for us We'll take a brush. Let's reduce size of this brush. Be sure it is, we'll say, white color, 10%. And we want soft round. And next, when I am get closer to the face, I'm just start painting to smooth out. So we'll just creating this poster look very smooth skin. Uh, one thing you want to do, dodge and burn after this, not before, because it does smooth out of the some of those highlights um as well right here we have the grid visible so i'll go 30 percent and i just little bit smooth out that grid i don't necessarily want to see so just like right here uh one thing to notice and keep it in mind as we're doing this moving doesn't matter whatever we do smoothing it's the reason why we want to after add grain to this so we can okay i'm just checking around and it's look okay so let's go zoom out let's look good um let's go next to add dodge and burn to this so we create new layer we'll fill up with 50 percent gray and we are clipping to layer below switch to the soft light right here and we'll use it our black brush 10 percent opacity to add some shadow so what i want to do it's right here i want to add a little bit on the cheeks kind of we add a little bit on a nose okay right here and um so let's do add a little bit more highlights x and we'll just add on a nose highlight going right there a little bit highlights on our eyes not too much just a little bit so it will make and line on our lips make lips a little bit more puffy right here a little bit on the nose eye there you go kind of like this let's go to add a little bit darker to our helmet create a little bit more highlights on the sides and you can see it's kind of nice if you do highlights next let's go to add a little bit on a belt as well we'll go on the sides right here and one on the middle you just create a little bit more um, interesting looking okay let's go zoom out and we'll just add a little bit on the shoes there you go not so much um we'll work with the helmet a little bit later but overall let's go again Control shift alt e command option alt e okay this dutch and burn this will be our hair so we'll go right there again we'll clipping that together and we'll go to filter stylize oil painting um 10 10 5 5 so okay and i want to apply also unsharp filter so we go sharpening unsharp mask and just add a little bit more bring higher unsharp just give it better details and creating again layer mask on this to hide okay so let's go ahead zoom uh, closer and i will have a smaller brush again we still work with soft brush 10 opacity 
and we'll just start with white paint in and you can see we're cleaning a little bit of hair it's look a little bit nicer so very easy to do this just apply around and again i just bring a little bit more and i'll show you what's happening if you look before and after we just clean up and add a little bit more like lines here which is will look a little bit better when we start doing with the illustrations or other okay this is almost all prepared model let's go to control g and we'll call this model uh, what i also like to do with it when i create model right click and going to convert to smart object so at this point if i need resize or do other things it's much much easy to do with um smart object model okay so let's go ahead and import the background what we have it and i render those inside the view and if you're interested i have it separate videos how to do this and this is a one main and another one it is hdr so and i usually do normal render and hdr give me you can see shadows and other things which i want to use it for um bottom portion of our preset maybe not as much just right here just add a little bit i like the top kind of um leave it but right here i want to add a little bit more details to the ground and hdr it's what help kind of to do this look okay when we're done control shift on a combine create new layer we'll and um, let's rename backdrop on this okay we'll take that layer move it and drop in our image uh yeah let's proceed and notice it's a little bit bigger the original image so what i'm going to do the image would drop in i mean we'll go create and we'll go expand our image to matching canvas to slightly matching what we have before our background right here we'll add it in it should take a second okay now we'll take our model and positioning i think this is about right size maybe it's what i want to do you could always if you feel like you can take a model and just slightly rescale i think maybe even the rescale will work a little bit better and i want to put it here maybe on a side like right there i'm i'm not sure we'll see if i want to rescale afterwards but for example we'll just let's say we'll creating book cover and if we want to do we'll just leave it space right here so you can put your text or other things okay at this point our model definitely does not match what we have and uh, it is color wise and other things the one is a helmet um when we come back to this positioning we will do with the helmet we'll do kind of semi transparency but we will work when we define our position but even before position we can start work on the shadows um well yeah let's go down down shadows okay and we'll go take our brush tool come closer here what um we look also on contrast rate so you can notice contrast rate on a model it's a little bit less because we have it quite a bit um black does not match does not match color so let's do add the curves to our model again alt and this is a uh, cn for the contrast and we can take a little bit and bring contrast up so we don't have it that much and we'll take white and drop a little bit down so a little bit flattened to match our backdrop slightly on a contrast um we can do same things create another curve and a color let's go same uh, put this in here okay and uh, okay position on a color let's go to match and our matching is probably just a little bit cyanish color with a little bit yellowish top so we'll just on a 
highlights a little bit reddish and the same there you go just slightly match coloring don't worry about too much of matching we'll do prefer more okay let's go jump back to our shadows and we'll take our brush soft hold down alt or option key and select this in a dark area right here with the shadows so it will give it us good coloring we want to be sure we set in multiply mode and we can start painting by her shoes uh, one thing when you start painting we'll have a two shadows on a foot we have a short shadows which is will be much stronger can okay, we actually probably even go to 50 percent very fast so we can create this very short but hard shadows okay this is a shadows like we're creating around shoes right there okay next let's go increase softer 10 percent and those ones just will be a little bit wider set also notice right here we have this directional shadows we'll need to create from the person drop down and we'll do them in a second but this is a little bit bigger shadows so next shadows before we do this we want to cast actually it's a reflective shadows or interesting that cast from the ground on her shoes and other things to do this we'll step above the model create new layer okay right here okay just above and we're going to Okay, so this renderosity a reflective shadows to do this. We'll parent it, uh, clip it to our model, and we'll take same our brush. And I want just right around shoes right here where I want to mark. And we'll be sure we're in a multiply mode. The reason the multiply will give it us darkness, but it's also give it us this color casting. So you'll notice it will have a little bit red kind of casting. And I want to do darker, like round, so as you can see how much it is. We'll start blending, look more like a round, round. We can also come very close. And actually what I want to do is make even darker as we're getting closer to the ground, almost matching. We don't necessarily need to do very much matching, but it is, it will create this nice blend like it is okay right here let's go a little bit more you can have it 20 percent so it will go a little bit faster okay let's go select a little bit darker color and just go like slightly right there so we'll go to the edge it's our goal it will create to create around the helmet we're we'll going to do so we'll click on a backdrop we'll go select our round selection tool and just go around don't need precise but close enough like around there her helmet okay. maybe a little bit down i think that is about right and as selecting background press Control command c Control command v so copy paste we have this circle we can even bring on a top and you can see around her head if you want it, you can still readjust just a little bit. Don't need total precise. This as well work just fine. Okay, and next we want to do it is click control or command on our layer. Okay, that is will um, make selection what we have it, and we'll go to filter, distort, and we're going to spherize. And as sphere, just create max 100%, click OK. And let us create this kind of sphere distortion. This is what will help us to sell this helmet distortions behind her. Okay, let's go ahead, click Alt or Option and click on a mask to hide it. Now we'll take our brush, white 10%, and we'll just start brushing inside here. Remember, it will be a little bit more clear on the middle. And as we're going closer to the edges, it will should have it less and less visible which is also very good work for us. Let's go closer to her hair right there and we'll just start kind of brushing in. A little bit is masking. Okay, we'll go closer. Again, hold down space bar to 
help us move around. Don't worry if you touch her hair, it is blending, which is a very good um, with the backdrop. Go a little bit closer to her hair. And I don't want going to the edge, I want to have this helmet look around. Right there, just a little bit to the edges, kind of. Right, closer, but not too close. And you can see these distortions were created with a helmet. Okay, a little bit clear on the middle. Okay, let's look. So right there, you can see we have it almost look like a glass reflection, which is kind of very nice. I think working with this in that case. Um, so at this point, we add our uh, to the model. And of course, we can always just clip this to our uh, main model so we know everything that here going together. Let's go just select this, group it and call it model. We also have a drop shadows that we can take and put it inside on a bottom right here below. There you go. So this is our model that we just created and we put it inside our environment. So to blend a little bit more, we want to add additional details to this. Like for example, we can add uh, fog behind. This will create new layer, layer between background and model. Let's go call it fog. And that will be for us black, white color. We'll go use it the brushes and we can select 100% increase in size and we'll just uh, you can notice I'm just putting a little bit around if they does not work very well remember you can always hold alt key select color from inside and sometimes this way we can add a little bit more natural kind of look like right there put it behind a little bit maybe on the ground around shadowing behind her a little bit. I like um, it's much easier if we create a little bit behind her. So that way um, will be easy. This edges kind of almost look like. Okay, so I'll put right there. Next, we'll go create another one just above the model. So that one will let us blend all of them together. So example, if I go like over her, you can see how it start blending her with the environment. So I, I can put it a little bit over faces like feet. Okay, let's go just increasing size. We'll go select again darker, a little bit color. So we can put it like almost fog on the ground. There you go. So we kind of start blending in. Uh, let's create one more. And it will be gun smoke. Okay, with gun smoke, I want to create a white color. Just add a little bit more interesting details. And for this, we'll use another Ron smoke. And those brushes, um, you can purchase the very good price. And I do like a lot of quality of them. It is on a Dust 3D. So I'll just go click right there to add a control to adjust and just a little bit I think go up like okay so let's maybe turn just a little bit what I like it's the smoke just gone a little bit over her helmet so it's kind of again it's all help us this merging to get a kind of blend together very good okay let's go ahead maybe play a little bit with opacity don't take too much attention but we need showing the smoking gun. Okay, so this way we kind of already blend, put it model inside. Let's go create new layer. And for this one, actually, can we create new layer? Let's go call it grain. And we'll go fill up with 50% gray. And going to filter, noise, add noise. And we'll just add 15 very small noise to this and go switch to soft light. The reason why we're doing this. You remember we have like on her face, let's go before, some is smooth, some it's noise. So it start mixing by creating noise and we don't need this hard, but we need just a little bit. We're destroying some of that noise that smoothness take away. 
And if we look closer, it was very big difference. It's obviously look like it's element not belong there because too high smooth, low noise, high noise. By adding noise or grain over this, it's help us to blend, to present like they all was at the same time together there. Okay, actually the noise will still on the top, but before noise, a couple other things I want to do. So Control Shift Alt D, Command Option Alt D on the Mac. We'll go to, um, we'll create glow effect. Now we'll go filter, blur, guns and blur. Just add a little bit like right there. Click OK. Switch this to the screen mode. And we'll go to create mask, alt or option. Click on the mask to hide. Take our brush. We want to have a soft brush. OK, 10%. And we'll just brush in a few areas, like here on a helmet. Want to add glow here, maybe a little bit on her gloves, helmet. This is just to add a little bit glowing. And usually I'll just add to some elements that I want to present. And this is more for the retro dreamy look kind of just around. So let's go look before and after just to add some of this kind of effecting. OK, um, so let's go ahead. Our grain is there. Now we can add color over this. Actually, before let's go create another. I forgot about global dodge and burn. So the same will fill up with 50 percent gray. Switch to the soft light. We have our brush will go with the black color, 10 percent opacity. And we'll just add a little bit vignetting to this. So I'm just going just around slightly, like right there. Switch to white. Not too much, but just a little bit vignetting. So we can focus a little bit more on a model. Add maybe to the sky darkest highlights on this area. There you go. You can play a little bit more with this, see how it's work. OK, now above with our grain, Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E. Um, and we'll go this one, actually color correction. For that one, I'm going to use a filter forge. And uh, you can do this manually. I can show you how to do with curves. But with filter forge, I'm going to use the phototone. I create this filter and it's free filter to download. Filter forge is not free, but filter is free. So I know this has allowed you to have all these presets, color preset, which helped me very fast to adjust in a way I want to create and see how this image look. So like right here, I'll go and clip it more in a bluish color. Or maybe, you know, just with a black, I think this one is look key okay, reduction. A little bit saturation bring back. I think it was a little bit too much. Okay, let's go click apply. Um, what it does, it's separate by different color channel and allowed me to very fast add color correction. And how I said before, I'll show you in a second how we can do this with just a curve. Okay, you can see how big different is in the coloring. And again, we can look before and after, but I will probably add just a little bit around here. We'll add mask. And I'll take my tool and just a little bit um, with a black color, add back some cyan coloring and some elements. So we have it colorful look. OK, let's go ahead. Before and after, you can see, just give it a little bit more color. Okay, and if you don't like it or you don't have filter forge, you can always go to create curves and a curve switch to the color mode and a color blending mode after we'll go switch in our curves on the blue channel. Take lower blue, bring up, take middle down. It's kind of creating cold um, blue and warmer is um, yellowish. Can we'll put a little bit on cyan color and bring 
is stored red. So it's just another way to color correct it or color appliance, but I like to combine them. And as we're doing this, well, let's go to selective colors and selective colors will add on a black. You can modify, make a little bit flatter or a little bit more hard choice. We'll just get it a little bit flatter. Again, blue, leave it green, cyanish, maybe red actually look good. Right here, you can play with this, see which one will look nicer, which one you like it. But usually I'm just creating color. Okay, Warmer, darker. So dark is cold and light is warm. It's what usually how I do it. Okay, I think this is good. Um, before all of this, between filter for it, between this curve, between that color and other ones, right after filter forge, let's create another curve. And this will be vignetting. Okay, we'll take our handle on top and drop all the way down. Just like right there, it should be total black. And we'll select our rectangle marquee. Just a little bit off the edge, you can see not total to the edge, a little bit off, create this uh, frame and kind of fill up. So we'll have it like this black, black frame around. Now in a masking for our curve, we can take our feathering, bring and you can see how it start um, at this nice vignetting. And let's switch to the soft light. So it's one be, um, we'll apply properly and gone to just a little bit down. So I think like this vignetting will work very well. Okay, so let's go ahead and look and you can see this is quite a bit high resolution image. We can modify how you want it. You, of course, at this moment, this is our background and you can see. Um, so you can have it like name of the writer if you do with the book. Okay, we can just very fast create one. Let's do right here. We can you can create name of the book writer, and we have it. I have it another tutorial where we can go over some fonts uh, styles, so you can actually can create look like thirties or other ones. In some cases, it's very easy as you can go inside the style and you can say, okay, I want arcing right there. Let's go to make like a spaceship going away distortion that way okay we can do you know create almost look like a spaceship flying away okay add with the styles, go inside, style layers, um, add a little bit out of glowing to this. And I'm just using orange soft light, so it will create. Um, let's go inside the inner glowing, same things we can do. I think we probably want to do stroke and let's see what stroke we can do. Um, color, let's go with the darker red, a little bit more. One pixel inside. Not too much. Let's go with about two pixels so you can adjust. But overall, we start modifying and now we can want to gradient overlay inside. Uh, let's go linear, select and we'll go maybe from um, some like darker color. Yeah, let's go from greenish color to something more yellowish white. So almost look like that. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe instead this will go to warmer on this one and yellowish kind of white, somewhat off. Okay, but this is very fast for you just to showing that we can do with a um, different styling you can create 
book cover or poster or wherever you need it but again we have a top if we did for the poster we probably want to do a little bit more space on the bottom to add credits and other information okay so let me go ahead again none on this okay we'll just go reduce size here for now for this tutorial we don't need to do that stuff okay i'm just adding remove all of this we don't need it okay i'll just put it on the bottom just add my own credit here and usually on the images when i add credit i'll just put it slightly visible somewhere in a corner um just to know it's i did it um, but it does not take attention from all images so people can see it okay and right now you saw that our original image so we have let's go check we have it before this photo okay this is what we work on our image so we took this model um, extract from background we also got to our background itself and we create this image thank you for watching this video if you have more questions please don't hesitate to ask also if you like it please subscribe give it thumbs up and um, all the assets backdrops everything and much more creating special pocket for you that it will be for the patreon supporters they can access for free or you can purchase on the geek at play or the gum road my website thank you again for watching this video